Hi, I'm Steve Brightfield, Director of Product Management at Qualcomm Technologies. Today, I want to provide a bit of a deep dive on using the Qualcomm Hexagon SDK to exploit the power of Hexagon Vector Extensions, or HVX. HVX is contained in the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon Series 800 processors, which provides increased processing performance and power efficiency for your applications and user experiences. Running these type of applications on the CPU oftentimes don't meet the end user requirements for latency, and if they do, they excessively tax the battery. To help conserve the battery in our mobile devices, I want to share with you what you can expect by using HVX. There are several key benefits of HVX you can expect. Increased processing power and reduced latency, lower power consumption, and better concurrency for your features and applications. Applications utilizing camera, video, computer vision, and virtual reality can take advantage of these benefits to create features and experiences that were not previously realizable using just the CPU. First, let's look at the processing improvements that you can get with HVX. The real strength of HVX lies in the number of bits you can process in a single clock cycle. HVX has two 512-bit wide words that can be computed in parallel to process 1,024 bits in a single clock cycle. This compares very favorably to a CPU, which computes only 32 bits in a single clock cycle, and using a coprocessor only up to 128 bits. So that's a great deal more processing power you can expect using the Hexagon SDK. Now let's look at how HVX works with your camera. HVX has a special feature where the camera directly interfaces to the Hexagon DSP cache. This enables you to bypass the DDR and the CPU and reduce the latency and the power consumption of capturing images. You can directly stream your camera data into the HVX processing element, performing computational algorithms prior to storage or manipulation by the CPU. This greatly improves the efficiency and the latency of computer vision, machine learning, and other advanced image processing algorithms. Improving compute concurrency is something else HVX can help with, whether it's multiple data types or multiple channels of the same data type. If we look at a use cases, they might combine video, imaging, sensing, and audio all together in a single stream, and they must be concurrently processed. In VR, there's an interesting use case in audio where from a traditional audio, you have two channels. VR might have 20 spatially located audio channels that all have to be concurrently processed. HVX can concurrently process all of these channels and mix them down to create a measurable user experience. The opportunity for developers to produce captivating and immersive experiences using the power of HVX can be realized by accessing the Hexagon SDK. To experience for yourself how HVX can optimize your development, I encourage you to download the Hexagon SDK. For more information, visit the Hexagon SDK page on Qualcomm Developer Network.